Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. The holidays are upon us. Yes, they are. Magical time where it's snowy and you're spending time with your family. You have holiday parties coming up and you want to look your best. Stay tuned, keep watching for my tips and tricks on how to look amazing this holiday season. I'll be doing three different holiday looks that will take you from zero to sexy in no time. My first go-to is always a deep side part. Super quick, easy thing that you can do. All right, so first what you're gonna do is you're just gonna comb everything back. My hair naturally has a deep part, but if you guys wanna do this wet, it's probably better so that you can blow dry it the way that you want to with either a paddle brush. The brush that's gonna give you a little bit more control to move it to the side. I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm gonna make, oh, it's a little bit too deep. I'm gonna make a straight line. I cannot say enough about parts that are even and straight. If you don't have any time in the morning to do anything except for put a straight line in your hair, Please do so. Really shows people that you actually took some time in the morning and it's super quick. All you need is this. This is it. So you're gonna have the straight line, as straight as you can get it. And again, pretty deep. A lot of times what you can do is just take the arch of your eyebrow and see where that would look really good. So that's the first step. The next step is you're gonna need some sort of like a pomade or a defining paste. I use the WEN defining paste. This is one of my absolute favorites and I'll show you how much I actually have left, which is not very much. You can see inside there, because I use this all the time. I use this in pretty much every look that I do on a daily basis. If anybody wants to get me a Christmas present, I could use some of this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take like a tiny bit, not much. There you go. I'm just gonna rub it between my fingers, get it kind of warm. And what you're gonna do is you're going to kind of set all these little tiny baby hairs down. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna give you a really sleek look on the side, almost like you kind of don't have any hair over here. You want it to look like super sprayed down. So you can do this side as well. Okay. And again, my hair's laying flat because this is where it's usually the happiest. But if, again, if it's wet, you wanna make sure that you are using like a paddle brush or a brush that has some sort of a bristle so that you are controlling where that hair is going when you're drying it. I'm so sorry that I don't have time to show you guys that, but I have three looks I have to do today. So now that we've defined it, you can kind of bump up this look to kind of make it look like you don't have much hair on one side. So you can pull your hair all the way over, so it's all over to one side. You can take these tiny little bobby pins. These are about a half size bobby pin. And what I do is I just kind of pin this hair back here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I do two usually just to kind of keep it in place. And one right after the other. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. No. Okay, so what that does is it's just gonna keep your hair from moving. This is a really, really cute look. Curling is always a good idea for like a holiday event because this gives you a little bit more glamour, a little bit of a boost. Curling iron's always handy around the holidays. I'm gonna go ahead and plug mine in. I'm putting my curling iron up to about 380. So as that's heating up, I'm going to spray it on my thermal protection spray. I got this at CVS. This is like a knockoff. I think it's like three or four dollars, it's called Defend. So you always wanna make sure that you're using some sort of a heat protectant before using a flat iron, a curling iron, and I will always use my Defend Thermal Spray. This protects your hair from the heat, especially people who have colored hair and bleached hair, you wanna make sure that you are protecting what you have so that it doesn't fall out and break and, and damage. I'm going to just kinda of go through each layer here. Okay, so my curling iron is still warming up. Guys, guess what I'm gonna do with this one? Do these look super familiar? They look familiar to me too. So scrunchies are coming back in style. And I never thought I would say that. But they were absolutely one of my favorite things to wear along with my puffy paint shirts. Hopefully puffy paint does not come back in. That was, that was actually not really cute because the puffy paint ended up peeling off the shirt and, and then you just didn't have a shirt anymore, so. Okay, moving on. 
we're going to be curling. Okay, so my curling iron is up to 380. Let's get into curling. It's like 55 degrees outside and we have our heat on. And I have so much static running through my body every time I get up. Do you guys get a lot of static too? Ooh, it's terrible. I can hear it crackling. All right, so I'm just gonna take kind of bigger sections because this doesn't have to be perfect. So if you guys watch my wave tutorial, you want to make sure that you are moving the direction of the curling iron each time. This way the curls will separate and they won't be like one big clump. I can't stand it when I see that. It's like, just flip the direction of the curling iron, girl. Come on. Figure it out. So if you guys are interested in like Victoria's Secret Beachy Sexy Waves, I also have that tutorial up. And I will link that one at the end of this video so that you can just click on it and watch it and have super beautiful Victoria's Secret sexy waves. I saw on Twitter the other day that Victoria's Secret is canceling their annual uh, fashion show and I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it. If you have an opinion, I would love for you to put it in the comments because I feel like I have an opinion, but it may not be, you know, what everybody else thinks. So. If you guys could do that for me, that would be awesome. Let's spark a conversation and see what everybody thinks. out you don't want it to be curled all the way to the bottom you want these to be kind of loose waves this is super cute too for shorter hair as well shorter hairstyles hope you won't think that I'm leaving anybody out with the shorter hairstyles a deep side part looks good on anyone even like little pixie cuts look super cute with like a deep side part to the curling iron really tight when you're in the front because you don't want to burn your face right before a party. Horrible. I've done it quite a few times. Okay. So it looks really curly right now. I know. Don't panic. Don't panic. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this sit and put a little bit of hairspray on it and let those curls cool down. It's extremely important to wait for these curls to cool down. So we're going to wait a couple minutes. You can actually feel the heat coming off of them. Once you don't feel that anymore, then it's safe to run your fingers through it. All right, All right look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. And you can see that when you do the curls in a different direction, they're not going not all going to clump together. They'll be separated and gorgeous and beautiful, and you're ready to like rock that holiday party. You're ready to see your family. Everyone's like, oh my goodness, what did you do? Your hair looks amazing. This is look number one. Super sleek. Look here. You can, like I said, use a little bit more hairspray if you want to kind of get that higher thing in the front. I think that Kylie Jenner just did a photo shoot for her holiday look and she did something similar to this, so it's a good look. Alright, on to the next one. So we're gonna take our body things out. So this next one I'm super excited about because it kind of brings me back to a time when things were simpler in my life. When I was younger, things were very different. I'm actually gonna sp spray some of this on my comb, because I can like hear the static in it. I can hear it, I can hear the static. You're gonna pull all your hair back. Make sure it keeps going forward. 
but you're gonna pull this all up like these. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Sometimes half up, half down can be kind of juvenile. But in this case, I think it's gonna be so, so cute. And I just, I can't wait. So let's see. Actually, I'm going to leave a little bit of my hair down just cause I don't like my ears. I'm a little bit self-conscious about my ears, guys. So I don't wear a lot of like big earrings, anything like that. So once you guys have it up and a halfer that you're happy with, we're gonna recurl these, don't worry. You're going to, and if it has like some lumps and bumps, it's totally fine. You kind of want like a, not a perfect half and half right now. So we're just gonna kind of pull this forward a little bit. And you're gonna use just a regular old rubber band. Okay. So that already looks super cute. So if you just wanna rock that, you can. But we're gonna add something to this. It's just gonna be so effing cute. Now, I found a leopard one at Kohl's. I didn't find the black one that I wanted, but it's okay, I thought the little leopard cheetah is super cute too. And if you're wearing like all black, which I know I do a lot around the holidays, you can dress it up with a cute little accessory. So I'm just gonna kinda pull these out for you guys. Again, you don't want this to be perfect. You want it to be a little bit disheveled. So I'm just going to, you want to make sure that you get any of the little baby hairs. And make sure that those bad boys are in where they're supposed to be. Come guys, this is so cute this is. Okay, so we're gonna place the little ribbon in the front. Okay. I'm just gonna move this around. Super cute little scrunchie. Okay, so. I think that this is so freaking cute. I'm gonna try to like pull some of these down. Just cause I'm not crazy about my hairline. Kinda just like give it a little bit of wispies around the face. Oh, MG. So freaking cute. And then we're just gonna go back in and we're gonna curl the little pieces. Now you don't have to curl your hair with this look. Obviously I'm doing it because of the last one that I just showed you guys. My sexy deep part. This could be cute um, straight. It can be cute if you have wavy hair, curly hair, any way you wanna do it. I just feel like this kind of this just kind of like spruces up a half and half in the cutest way possible. Seriously, you guys, I'm like digging this little thing so much. I think I'm gonna wear it like every day. So I'm just touching up these curls on the bottom. This is also a really easy way to turn your curling iron into a curling wand. Show you guys real quick. I see a straight hair. I'll show you guys that real quick so you don't have to buy both hair tools. You can do one. So you just kind of turn it like you would, like you're using a curling iron. And then you're just going to hold out the piece, a little piece here, and it turns into a curling wand. <laughs> Who knew? See? Just like that. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm going to do one more little piece over here. careful though don't burn yourselves again please be careful you want to look good you don't want to show up to a party with a bunch of burn spots on your hands and your forehead okay so here we go we're gonna let that sit for a minute just like let it cool off now that it has cooled off I'm just gonna spray these curls a little bit ooh, ooh. get this into the pony Always want to make sure that you're getting the ponytail curls too. I kind of don't want to take.
check this out. This is like so much fun. I have to though. So moving on to my next look. It's super easy too. We all have to have an updo, right? Because updos are just universal. Everybody loves them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to part my hair down the middle. Middle-ish for me. I'm gonna show y'all the look that is going on right now that is so super cute. Okay, so we're just going to really just kind of leave these out. Just gonna leave kind of like a, kind of like our little tendrils out. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is just kind of like wrap this hair up bit. Yeah. It's supposed to be kind of messy. Kind of like pull it up. Up, up, up. Up all the way. And I think it's okay like if you have stuff hanging down the back. I think that's kind of the sexy look right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this into a bun. Take my rubber band here. Okay. There we go. And I'll kind of pull, kind of pull this out. Make this look cute. So we're basically just going for like a messy bun, but with these really cute little tendrils hanging down. Okay, so I'm just gonna pin this so that it looks good. You don't want your bun to be all floppy, so use some bobby pins. Make it look cute. Okay. Boop, boop. Okay, just like that. And what's what's the style that's going on right now is this kind of decon is this really constructed curl. So you're not pulling your fingers through it. You can, I probably will because honestly those kind of super tight curls remind me of being a little girl when my mom uses sponge curlers. So I'm gonna avoid that today, but if you can pull it off, it's so pretty. I'll show you guys a picture of what my inspiration was. Okay, so a lot of them are just wearing their curl kind of like that which is very pretty it's very cute i just i can't i can't do it so i'm going to kind of run my fingers through it there we go and i'm curling away from my face you want to make sure that you're curling away and not in it's going to give you a totally different look Very Shirley Temple-ish, which is fine for some people, but I just, I can't, guys, I can't. There are some trends that I just cannot get on board with. Um, I mean, this one is cute. I'm just going to kind of pull some of these down and curl them. It's kind of giving me like a Drew, like a Drew Barrymore kind of feel back in the 90s, which I love her so much. And then I'm just gonna kind of curl these a little bit. Because my hair is super straight. Okay. Now, you can dress this up with like some little bobby pins, something cute. I know that those rhinestone clips are everywhere right now, so you could put some of those in here, like a big love or like something something gorgeous i'm sure you guys can figure it out thank you guys so much for tuning in if you haven't subscribed to my channel i hope that you will today for more content like this every week click the bell so you get notified so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you got some looks that will help you out with this holiday season stay tuned for my holiday makeup guide i'm going to be showing you guys how to pick out the perfect red lipstick for any skin tone i'm going to show you guys how to make those eyes pop with something super super easy everybody can do so stay tuned for that and i look forward to seeing you guys soon happy holidays